Footlick of the Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 3. It's time to start heading up the freight with next day delivery. So, here we are. Uh, welcome to Bergson. We are currently on our way to Wurzburg, where we will split the formation before continuing to Munich. Now, I wasn't going to do any more nighttime stuff because it was incredibly dark during the night. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, wait for the signal to clear. Uh, okay. I'm going to bring my brakes down uh, a little bit. And we're pretty much good to go. Is, are the lights set up? Headlights, yeah, are just set to normal. We're waiting for the signal to clear. I'm waiting a long time for this to clear. How long is this taking? And here's our consist. Basically, containers, looks like. Shipping containers. What the hell's that? Oh, chew. Oh, that's cool. Ah, the signal is cleared. Okay, so brakes off. And let's get moving. Uh, track speed limit is going to be 150 pretty soon. Oh yeah, this needs, this is a, it's a heavy beast, so it needs a bit of power to get going. Oh yeah, ah, the wheel slip is real. I yeah, just needed to get going a little bit. I think it just takes uh, a few seconds for the old, uh, the old power to kick in. It's a 185, right? Yeah. Wurzburg sightings, 205, 43 kilometers. Haha, <laughs> use the horn, but I think it's got... Are my cab lights off? And I'll leave them on, actually. Master instrument lights, headlights, brake release. It's been so long since I've used this. Back in Train Sim World 2 days. LZB override, traction motors, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wipers in case it starts raining. Passenger doors, yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> and we are off. Yeah, so it's 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 dark out. Uh, the last Train Sim World 2 video I did, well, it was dark out. Okay, so bright. Reduced, normal, reduced, normal. Uh, so normal is actually the best. Now again, this is going to be one of these things where I can see this absolutely perfectly. Uh, there's no issue for me. In fact, it is really dark. Yet the lights just don't light things up as much as you'd like them to. <laughs> Yeah, set my headlights to bright. That just looks the same. <laughs> set them to normal. Yeah, this is actually really dark. This is very dark indeed. Uh, even for me. So you guys probably not going to be able to see anything. Now, we can possibly, right? We can possibly tamper with... Right, gameplay HUD audio nah, screen. Screen resolution, yeah. Is it an advanced settings? Yeah, there's no brightness slider. As per was Train Sim World 2. So yeah. The scenario may be chalked. Now it's a shame because these scenarios are lots of fun. Uh, they're good to do. Maybe if we stay outside, we'll be able to see a bit more. There you go. We've got a flash from the catenary there. Another flash. Uh, we can see the signals, which is nice. But yeah, it's just uh, it's incredibly dark. Uh, it's something I wish Train Sim would sort of change. I know in reality it would be dark. You're basically out in the middle of nowhere where there are very reduced uh, 
light pollution there's not many light sources around the area but still I'd like to be able to pop up the brightness just a touch so you can actually see where we're going now one of the strange things is there you go there's an ICE don't know if you guys can see that but I did <laughs> yeah if you were to run this scenario in winter and the ground were to be covered in snow it is actually really bright you can see everything clear as day now see it would have been nice to see this thing yeah even this if I take this as a screenshot right now I can see it perfectly but when I upload it to YouTube it'll be very dark it's one of the weird things as well is that I think I've tested this many times because I've done quite a lot of Train Sim World and other games where night time is a factor, uh, workers and resources, Soviet Republic, etc. The night time used to be very dark there, but you could go into the files and change how dark the darkness actually was. You could make it, you could raise the gamma in it so that it was a, a little, a little less dark, and you could still pretty much see everything that was happening. I don't know if you can do that with this. You probably can. Uh, messing area around with uh, game files is something that I'm not particularly fond of doing. But it might be something that we have to do. Uh, oh, oh. Now the fact that this says I can go up to 150. We're going into a tunnel. So... If you can't actually see absolutely nothing, don't worry. Uh, it's because we're in the tunnel. <laughs> I want to mess around with these. Because in the ICE, they do the brightness of the headlights actually makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. So we're in the tunnel. There you go. Uh, do I have to get to our destination within a certain time? But yeah, something I've noticed is when I'm playing the game, I can see stuff. I can't see anything now because we're in this tunnel. It's incredibly dark. The lights in this train are obviously quite pitiful, if I'm honest. They're not very bright. I don't think there's any way to make them brighter. We are exiting the tunnel now. I can see that. Uh, but yeah, when I play the game, I can see everything. It looks fine. When I record it and take it out into uh, Sony Vegas, where I do all my editing, uh, it looks fine. It looks totally fine. After the render is done and I play it back on... I play the rendered file back to make sure there's no sort of issues. It looks totally fine. When I upload it to YouTube, it is incredibly dark. For some reason. I don't know why. And this includes screenshots. When I'm editing a screenshot uh, for the thumbnail, it looks totally fine. As soon as I add it, there's another train. It's so bloody dark. You can't see it because it was in a tunnel. His uh, his lights seem to be a lot brighter than mine's were, though. Uh, but yeah, anywho, so when I'm editing it, it looks totally fine. Uh, as soon as I upload that thumbnail to YouTube and I go actually look at it on the YouTube homepage, it's incredibly dark. I don't know if there is something in the... Uh, sort of uploading process or the the processing aspect of YouTube that sort of like darken stuff down there you go there's a village there's a river nice green lights ahead I can actually kind of see the train yeah these red lights see these to me are like tail lights they should be should be yellow. Ha! I want that on bright. 
Did that make a difference? No. Are the lights on the freight trains red? I have no idea. Oh, we're going uphill actually. Let's add a bit more power. There's a serious amount of weight behind this train. We are running a multiple unit, double unit here. I wonder if there's a unit at the back. I don't think there is. I, don't, I think that's more of a more an American thing. Going in the, the old uh, push pull configuration. Europe, it's mostly just two locos at the front. Right, once I get out of this bloody tunnel, we might be actually be able to see if we <laughs> what the back of the consist looks like. Right, so I've still got nice green signals. I would imagine that any passenger trains that are ahead of us are going to be flying away from us. We're not going to catch any passenger services. That's a, that's a sort of sure cert right there. Uh, we may have to pull off in a siding to allow a faster passenger service to get through. Wait, did that just go... Oh, I thought it just went from 8 straight up to notch 10 there. That was weird. It is actually... You can hear the electrical generator there. It's quite loud. If you've actually worked near electrical generators, etc., you'll, you'll know that. That noise. Right, am I still in this tunnel? I am. I'm coming to the end of the tunnel, right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> right, let's have a look outside. So, yeah, that's cool. Oh, the back of the train is still in the tunnel. Back of the train exiting the tunnel. There you go. So, yeah, there's our last... Last one there. Yeah, your lights are like... Like, not bright at all. Right, what I want to do is keep an eye out for a freight train coming in the opposite direction. Because then I'll be able to see whether they've got... What type of lights they've got on. I mean, we've got these on bright. Yeah, yeah. So are they on bright now? Yeah, it's like the lighting doesn't work for this train. Every setting is the same. Which is odd. Okay. So I believe this is a... We came off from a, a sort of side branch line onto the main line. It is dark. It's probably why I can't recognize what the hell's going on here. Alright, we're passing the siding, and we obviously don't have to stop in this one. It's just letting us go. I am at notch 10, and this train is holding 150 kilometers per hour. Uh, quite perfectly, if I'm honest. Is that the max speed of this train? It could be. If that's the case, then my job just became a lot easier. All I have to do is keep an eye out for changing signals. <laughs> Although it may start to gain speed if we start going downhill. That's always a thing. There you go. See that grey sky there? You can probably see that. In fact, there's the moon. Okay, so there's no moon. One thing the moon does is it adds a ton of light to the map. That it does. 
You'll be surprised how much the moon uh, adds light into the dark night. What the hell is that? I think it uh, sounded like another train was passing there. We're 22 kilometers away though. So, uh, 150 kilometers per hour. It's not too bad. I don't have a friend with me this evening. That's unfortunate. There you go. I can see stuff in the distance there. That's cool. The decent windows. We'll call them the distraction windows because they're windows that you can actually look out uh, and see stuff. A lot of the high speed trains have windows in weird locations where you can't really see anything out of them. Which I suppose it's a good idea because you don't want your driver getting distracted uh, by constantly looking out the side windows. Especially when travelling at phenomenally high speeds. You're going to want him to be paying it, or her to be paying attention to what's happening in the track in front. Right, we're going in another tunnel. There you go. Oh, this tunnel's not so bad because I can actually see the other side of it. There you go. We'll get tunnel vision there. And then we pop back out for just a second. Yeah, the train is actually trickling above 150 kilometers per hour. But because the speed limit on this section of track is so high, we're not getting any penalties for being over. In fact, we're continuously getting driving under speed limit. Uh, now, hold on. Because there will be in here some sort of plaque or marker that states what the max speed of this train actually should be 140 kilometers per hour which we are vastly exceeding yeah so if there's any sort of wild corners or anything Uh, now the wagons will go first if they're not supposed to be flying down the line at this speed we'll, uh, we'll know about it that's cool I love the bridge the bridges in this map there we go we can actually see my oh, can I, s oh, I can basically drive the train from here Ah, oh, sweet. That would be a challenge. <laughs> uh, stop in location, Warsburg. Right, so we are 14 kilometers away. I'm almost doing 200 kilometers per hour. And a train that I suspect is not supposed to be going that fast. Oh, that was weird. See, I'd love to have that as a screenshot. But it's just going to be phenomenally dark and we're not going to be able to see anything. Right, we're going uphill now. We're starting to lose speed. This should hopefully bring it back down to... 150. Which is nice. Uh, you know what? Sled coast. Because within 10 kilometers, it's going to start asking us to slow down. Yeah, I'm actually going to add brakes 3 here. Because I think after this 230, it drops down again to something that's pretty low. No, 280 apparently. The train is shaking about violently, which is disconcerting. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it down to 100. Because I don't trust this at all. 
We have been deceived by this before. The train is like bouncing around. I think it's because we're braking, right? We do have a ton of weight behind us. There we go. Leave it at 133. Three. Maybe if you are a train engineer or train operator or train driver in Germany and you're on freight. You could possibly you will know if running in uh, Würzburg here at high speed is is a great idea. Maybe some of them do. We are going to err on the side of caution here. Because I know for a fact that these speed limits here will just drop straight from underneath us. Yeah, we're 6.7 kilometers away. I can't see anything. It's because you're in a tunnel. Okay. That makes sense. So, Würzburg is basically the other end of this hill. Yeah, I'm breaking, but because we're going downhill, yeah, it drops down to 160. Oh, that's fine. I'm below 160. Okay, just like coast. Just like coast for the moment. Yeah, sometimes they can, the camera controls in this can be a little bit janky. But there's our train. Not a massively long consist. Nowhere near as large as the, the sort of American stuff that you get. But I like this. I actually, I think I actually prefer running freight rather than passengers. I mean, passengers got the the real high speed element but freight is just more there's more to do in freight there you go so we're just sort of cruising into Würzburg at 120 well 121 now because after this 160 it's gonna drop right out See, I'm still gaining speed because we're going downhill. There you go. There's gravity and all its glory. The heavier, heavier you are, the faster you're going to go. Right. I'm, I'm anticipating that this is going to go from like 160 down to 100 or something. Or it could just, yeah, down to 100 and 1.2. That's fine, we'll start breaking now. We're now apparently going slightly uphill, so the train just might come down to 100 on its own. There you go, I see the city lights. Yeah, I'm turning off to the side and right. I need to be going way below what I am now. And yeah, there's a lot of lights here. Sweet. And we're going all the way to the left. And 1.4 kilometers, we've got a red signal. That's fine. This we're aware of. Give me five on a break in. Get it down to 60. Oh, yeah. You can definitely see how long this has taken it come down now. We made it. Kinda. Ish. Right, give me just a little bit of power. You still need to make it to the side <laughs> Be quiet. Be quiet, you. Speak English. <laughs> now we'll just sort of cruise in here. And it says 500 to destination. Seems further than that. Uh, we're going 
right around the edge here. This might be a better screenshot because it's the, the train is actually in a light area where I can actually see it. Right, it looks like the red signals are directly after this. There's another freight train there. It's got the Raylion wagons, it's cool. Quiet. Quiet, you. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Why are you slowing down? I'm going to get this. This is going to be bang on the money here. Four, three, two. This could be good. This could be very good. One meter skills. Right, remove 31 vehicles. Okay, this is where the old counting comes into effect. Uh, no trains coming. Never good. Oh, that was a big jump. Right, remove 31 vehicles. Ah. Oh. Am I decoupling the train here? Ah. Oh. Let's move out of the way so the other driver can head off. Alright. Alright, alright. Wait, it's not giving me the option to get back in? Ah, uh, it's here. Ooh, Jesus. I just got slingshotted. Alright, this signal's actually green, so that's awesome. Alright, where do you want me to go? You want me to park her up? That's fine. Now, this should actually start going at notch one or two, yeah, because there's absolutely no. Look how fast it is! But it's just on its own. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Calm down. Calm down, game. Why am I only moving here? He's not going to be able to go anywhere because he'll still be in the way. Six, five, four, three. Ah, four's fine. I'll take four. Uh, where am I going? Stop and location. Oh, we're going back. Okay. Uh... Set that to that. Where's my reverser? Wait, is this has this been changed? <clears throat> right, I need to go. It has been changed. Okay, uh, let's go then. I'm just gonna kick it in at one. We're going to, oh, well, two then. Let's go to two. Go to camera two. And I'll be very upset if this hasn't actually changed. Yeah, it has. Now, I wonder if I was actually supposed to jump into the other side. Probably. Okay, now we're out of the way. No, 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 no. Stop close to where you're actually supposed to stop. Oh man, the con the controls are in, like inverted when you're going backwards. It's weird.
I think that is possibly. Whoa! Bro, could have waited. Uh, set the reverse right forward. Can do. Uh, set the train brake to release. Uh, apply some power to get moving. Wait, where am I going? Where am I actually going? Oh, I'm going 280 meters up there. Ah, so I'm going back to the same spot. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we need to wait for him to clear this block. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. You see, I was just going to go straight to that spot there, but we're waiting for the other train to leave, which I guess makes sense. That was close. You could have failed that instantly. Okay, now we're good to go. Man, this thing is fleet on its own. Look at it go. Just basically effortless. Alright, keep going, keep going. I want it within 10 meters. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's fine. Stop there. Excellent. Right, couple to formation. Twenty-four vehicles. Wait, what? Proceed at restricted speed. I'm on it. Uh, right, bring my brakes back down. Set the reverser to reverse. Uh, we are gonna assume. Breaks off, please. That. Uh, the signals have been changed again. Right, it said proceed at restricted speed, so we shall do so. Oh, yeah, so we were basically splitting the train, so the other train is heading off to Munich. We are going back in here. I like this. This is why freight is fun. Yeah, these switches must be automatic, right? Which is pretty awesome. I do like this train, but it does sound like it's dying slightly. Uh, <laughs> the noise that it makes. Right, 10 miles per hour is probably a bit fast. And the brakes are so responsive as well. Is that close enough? No, I can I can near guarantee that's not close enough. Yeah, it's that bounce back. It's that bounce back. It could be a problem. Uh, stick a brakes on. Oof! Uh, just broke both my legs there. Apparently, it is close enough. Uh, back up. I can I never find this. Wait, let me up. Oh, yeah. Nice work, let's see how you did. Back in the seat. And we're coupled up and ready to go. 
Time taken 34 minutes and 27 seconds. It said it should have roughly have taken about 40 minutes. But yeah, irregardless of the fact that we had to run through the night and for 50% of this video, I would say more than that, I would say more like 75% of the video, you can't actually see anything. That was a lot of fun. I really did enjoy that. I think that was one of my favorite scenarios thus far but yeah we'll leave it there for that episode as always if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like comment or dislike please feel free to do so and if there's more you'd like to see in the future then hit that subscribe button but i've been danny man this has been trained sim world 3 and i will catch you later